What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Deluvion, where we are out of ammo, out of supply, and really in need of just a little time spent on the R and R. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today. I think we were headed back to Ice City, but first things first, Dre. Or, I almost said Dre Treadwasser. Uh, Jay Treadwasser has something he wants to say to us, and we're relatively safe right now, so I'm going to entertain that. I also need to put some more people back on helm duty. Now that we no longer need repairs. Uh, what's the plan? If you're all set, let's sail to the checkpoint. With this passport, we should be able to get through. Ah, I see. So we can go to the Royal Blockade. Well, instead, I do wish there was a way to hail ships that were out here. It'd be cool if they added a key like you target a ship and you press H. And they'll stop and they'll be like, ahoy! And then you can like board them without having to chase them down. I feel like that'd be a pretty cool addition. Most of them are pretty slow, so they're not that hard to catch up with. But... Sometimes they can give you a little run for your money out here. Let's go ahead and dock on in. We're out of ammo. We need to make sure that we've got the things in order to continue our journey. Because right now, we're in rough shape. We're in rough shape. In the previous episode, I think we went up against our first boss. He was nasty. Uh, I need scrap very badly. I'm going to sell you all of this random stuff I have sitting around. So that I can basically just spend all of my cash. There we go. That's a little bit of a refit. So that I can spend all of my cash on ammo. So there it is. We spent a little bit of cash on ammo. I should probably spend some money on food, too. I'm going to take that down to whatever I can afford. Just keep everybody fed, make sure the crew's happy, make sure that we can protect ourselves. Because the game definitely seems to have taken a lethal turn. Let me have my compass, please. And the City of Ice is fairly close. I suggest we go there. Once we go to the City of Ice, it should update. Oh, we have an enemy. Is that him right there? That's got to be him. Yeah, Flounder Pirate. Uh, we are using the Creeper on him. Oh, and just like that, that enemy was no longer an issue. We do have an Icer Pirate this way down here. I don't know if he's going to bother me while I'm, si while I'm inside of the City of Ice. I'm going to take a risk, and let's just go for the City of Ice real fast. I do very much... I think that with the patching, they're making the game better. This game had some very, very obvious flaws at the beginning portion that now it does not suffer from quite anymore like I really really like the new control scheme I think it should have been the default from the start I do like the new view that kind of zooms out a little bit further so that you can make sense of some of the stuff that's happening I, I like that a lot and so the changes that they made with their first patch were all very much positive I'm a lot more positive about the game now than I was with the first five or six episodes and now that I have figured out the way that like the waypoint system and everything else works I think that that helps out a little bit too we are diving down deep. We got four air tanks ready to go. That still wasn't enough for the first boss. We've got no repair kits, though, so we're going to want to be very, very careful about the way that we handle our business here. Nope, I don't want this. Nope. Uh, is that an enemy right there? Probably. Yep, we got a flounder pirate over here. So let's handle our business with said flounder pirate. Do I have range on this flounder pirate? Good. Light him up. Christmas tree time. So there it is. That should be the only fight we have to do for right now. I'm going to go ahead and see what stuff he has available that I can take. Although while he's twisting in the wind, it does become... Well, is it wind underwater? I guess he, while he's twisting in the tide, it becomes very, very difficult to board them on occasion. He's got a torpedo, some extra ammo to replace what we spent, and probably about 50 bucks worth of stuff. Not really a lot. Let's stay on task here. All right, full speed down and ahead. I think that's probably a pirate over there, too. So we will more than likely have to deal with him before too long. No, it's a merchant, actually. Although we do have a glacium over here that's got me kind of worried. I don't know if I should just ignore them and dive. Hopefully they're not on us. But... Our little trails seem to be going down this way, so you know what? I'm going to stick with it. We do have the pass, so we should be able to go and do whatever objective it is that they want us to do. Although, in checking the depth here, it is very likely that this is deeper than what we can handle. And in fact, this is where we faced off against our dear friend, the giant spider. Hopefully, he's gone. Like, we dealt with him the best that we could. It used up all of our ammo, all of our resources, but we managed to put him down to the bottom. Well, okay, he's still active. He's still doing crab stuff, unfortunately. But, that said, 
I don't really know where I'm going right now. I'm going to need to find myself some kind of, I'm going to go full backwards just to give myself a little gap in between me and some of these hostiles that are up in front of us. We'll go half back now. If there is anything to ping, I suggest that we do it now. We found ourselves in a little bit of a tide there. That's okay. I can live with that. Let's consider... We have a flounder pirate that's there, but... We need to get recentered before anything else. I mean, it might not be the worst plan just to head back to the Vehicle Engineering Trade Guild and just kind of chart from there. Is that going in the direction I want? It is. It's going in the direction I want. So let's take advantage of this right here so we can travel a little bit quicker. Keep us out of trouble for a little while. You got to use these. If you use these weird little riptides and things, these little currents, they do get you around a lot quicker than you would be getting around by yourself. I think that's the trade guild right there. We should be able to light up a new beacon the second that we come into port on that side. We should not have too many enemies around. Let me kill off my compass right there so that I'm not blinding people with it. Oh, this is Ice Merchant. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I can live with that for right now. This is where we came from, though, which has me kind of worried. Swivel back in. It should give us a new destination. Which looks like it's going this way somewhere, but it actually dies off when it gets to the bottom of the ocean. And that's what makes me nervous about following this one. Of course I'm going to have low air right now. Is that a merchant? If it is, I'm going to suggest we take advantage of this merchant right here. Not like by cheating him out of his money or anything like that, but just by using his oxygen. There we go. Oh, no oxygen gained. Okay. Well, that's a problem. I don't want to have to go back to Ice City. Ice, Ice City. I think I'm going to have to, though. we got another merchant over here. Trader Belugas, you can't dock with those in case you were wondering. That's not an option. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let's go full speed. We're going to try and take this pirate out and steal his air. Come about. We'll give him a nice little thumping right there. In the hopes that maybe... Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Oh, no oxygen from him either. See, it seems like there's these weird situations where... I guess I'll make for Ice Town over here. I don't really have a choice. I doubt we'll make it, though. We're probably going to suffocate long before we get there. It's just my suspicion. That, and if there's a bunch of pirates in the region, we're going to have issues there, too. Are we going to make it? It becomes the question of the day. Come around. Let's dock up and let's get our air filled back up. There we go. All four air tanks are good to go. I need to get that air tank number back up. If I could have like six or seven tanks, it would make this a lot easier. You know, it's funny. When I thought I had two air tanks, I thought I was good to explore. Now I've got four and it just feels like it's never enough. All right, now we've got this. We are back on track and ready to let them clack. I'm going to pull the camera up to kind of a vertical view so I can keep a... 
keep a short lookout on what's happening here. But if it's anything like last time, I'm pretty sure this just like spontaneously ends. Wow, we are diving down deep. Well, on the plus side, we've still got access to our trail. So as long as we've got a trail, we're able to make some kind of advancement towards victory here. I'm going to dive below that current because that's going in the opposite direction that I want my currents to go in. We're almost down one tank. I think that's workable, though. from there it looks like we've lost our looks like we've lost our trail couple things we can glean from that is either that we're already going in the right direction and we're just looking for whatever this blockade is over here yeah so this is how Spirius down here so hopefully Spirius is not furious at the moment and they don't try to beat us up or kill us or anything like that so we've made it down here The blockade. An intimidating officer boards your ship. After silently looking at the passport, he gives a stern nod, allowing you passage. Okay, but what does that mean, Mason? Oh, there's a world map. We can actually zone out. Interestingly enough, I didn't realize this game was going to be, like, segmented like that. Okay, I learned a new thing today, but I guess we will sail into this giant thing. We can go to Forgotten Fjords, or we can go to... Does it say where we are right now? I don't know which one we were supposed to go to. Forgotten Fjords, I think, is where we were already at, because that's the ice drill right there. So I think Sunken Coast is where we want to be. I love this load screen. This load screen is so dope. Whoever thought of this load screen is my champion. Like, I just love stuff like this. Like, weird little rotating sigils and runes and things of that nature. It makes me happy. Well, here we are. Wherever R is, I guess. Shoot out a lovely little ping here. And Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was kind of a half acid ping. Let's see what we've got to do. I assume in some respects this area is going to be pretty heavily aligned with how Spurious. I'm going to go ahead and go upwards to avoid that. Keep sending out pings and see what happens here. So where to now? Ah, uh, we need to get our bearings. Relic nearby called the Fountain of Honor would be a good first marker. Okay, so to the Fountain of Honor we go. Do we have a trader down here? I do wonder if the Matryoshka would be so kind. Nope, it won't be. It'll be so mean. So incredibly mean. With my pings, I don't really see much so far. Is this perhaps the Fountain of Honor right here? There's a Beluga wreck. Several more wreckages down here. We have no hostiles, which is great. That means we just get to explore without getting ourselves whooped inside out on accident. So there's a wreckage right there. Can't really do much with that, but there is a beluga down here, which might be manageable. Although I think it wants us to access the beluga from the other side, maybe. Where's the little trailer hitch thing? Well, it's not on that side. Is it down below? We may suffocate just trying to find this hitch. Wow, 
Yeah, I don't know what it thinks it's doing right there, but that's actually obviously bugged. Let's see what else we can find. We're too low on we're too low on air to dick around too much. Yep, I'm aware. Thank you. Well, there's something right there. Things are not looking real solid for us right now, though. Things are absolutely looking a little iffy. So we got an extra air tank from that side. At least it's something. We take what we can get. Ain't no complaints from my side. When air is low, you take what you gotta take. And then, was there another beluga wreck over here? Was that a beluga wreck on that side? Like a little whirlpool of misery over here. If I can get inside this one and get back up to three tanks, I'll feel better about exploring. Each tank buys you roughly a minute or two. There we go. Now we're back up to three tanks. We're looking better. We've also got access to some vehicle parts, actually. Very, very cool. The kind of stuff that allows us to make our ship a little bit less jank. We've got a Nagelfar. What the shit? Oh, that is a big-ass hostile. Yeah, let's not go anywhere near that thing. Holy balls. That thing is horrifyingly huge. And I'm just not that brave. I'm not playing that today. Absolutely not. We're going to have to get by with the oxygen. We can siphon off of some of these wrecks. Cool. Four air tanks filled up. We'll just have a short little look-see here. Hey, a repair kit. I like repair kits. Sounds good. Once again, though, they fail to tell you, like, what direction the thing you're looking for is in. Like, if he was like, hey, we should go to this place that's northwest of here, I'd feel a little bit better. The Nagelfar. Huh. Kind of creepy, but I guess I'll stay away from it, although he is coming about. That would suck. I don't think we want to square off against something that much bigger and that much meaner than us. I mean, maybe it's a research vessel. Maybe it's a vessel of kindness. There's no telling. Oh, we found Crescent Pillar. So that's good. Where does it want me to go now? Wants me to go this way. Cool, I don't even care. Now that I've got a waypoint, that's perfectly fine. It's just functioning in a new area without any kind of indicator as to where we're supposed to be going is never a good experience. I mean, full engines. Give me a ping as well. Just maybe keep like a side eye on that giant ship the size of a continent that appears to be inherently hostile by its nature. It was just made that way. It has no excuse. It just wants to whoop our ass. We will follow this as far as we can follow it. I'm going to keep putting out pings. So there's a circle of pillars over here. Hopefully that'll lead us to some new magical location. Are these things filling? Okay, we don't have the chart for the zone yet. But hopefully those things fill in at some point. We've got three tanks of oxygen left. Something to think about as we move forward. In fact, I would guarantee that if I was on this ship, it'd be one of the only things I could think about. The fact that, like, yeah, there's limited oxygen right now. We do have some dive wrecks down here. Ah, there's Fountain of Honor. Okay, so let's pick through the corpses of all these ships so that when we go into port, maybe we have something to trade so we can put ourselves in a less compromising position. Some food, some books, absolutely. Our cash flow is very, very bad right now, which is the reason why I'm actually being so anal. 
about looking around for things that I want. I think there's another one over here too. Yeah. Perfect. If I could buy like maybe two or three more air tanks. I just want to be able to go on adventures without suffocating. We're supposed to die like gloriously, you know, not like just gagging on our lack of... Although dying of a lack of oxygen might be better. I don't know. Does decompression hurt worse or does suffocating hurt worse? Oof. Let's get out of this current. There we go. So with the blowfish down here... And apparently this beluga as well. I guess there's two down here. But we need money. We're like broke as a joke, so... No complaints from me. The more loot I can pick up before we go to town, the more money I can make on the quickety-quick. So that we can actually afford to go and, like, do fun things that sailors do when they go ashore. Gambling! Drinking! Whoring! Hooray! Yar! It's the 1800s. No one can judge us. Everything was legal. We used to give opium for colds. And cocaine. What a crazy time to be alive. Like, oh, what's that? You've got the sniffles? Enjoy this gram, son. Let me get an 8-ball real quick from the Sears catalog, because we could do that back then. We could do that back then. My grandma's still got a magazine at her house from Sears where you can order, like, a heroin kit from Sears. She said it belonged to, like, one of her parents or something like that. It's crazy. Fountain of Honor. Dude, you guys got a glass bubble? Hell yeah, I want a glass bubble. Oh, wow. It's like a biodome. That's pretty dope shiggity. Schwa! So what have you got here? It's the Morgan's Tear. It's a ghost ship and it sails around looking for revenge. You want to join up? Hey, Captain, want to hire the best sailor in the ocean? You just have endurance and intel. Hey, a vendor. A spurious merchant. Fantastic. You don't have a lot of things that look amazing to me. Select this emblem from your ship's inventory to apply to your ship. The Morganson Piercer. A high-speed piercing torpedo once used by the military. Morganson military. We're not going to get paid out very well here because we're not, like, going to a trader. But our cash got picked up a little bit. It got a little pick-me-up in there. We have more than enough bullets to get by, so it's not that bad. We have food, too, so you know what? I'm going to call it right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Deluvion. I will see you all in future episodes. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. I'm going to enjoy this fancy dryad music.